My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to use the Account Combiner and Modifier tool in Dynamics GP. The Account Modifier and Combiner tool is part of a larger tool set called the Professional Services Tool Library, or PSTL for short. The PSTL is now a standard feature in GP that many valuable tools that has many valuable tools available to users that were only accessible via Microsoft support or your implementation partner. Before using any of these tools, be sure that you are logged in as SA and that you make a backup of the company database as most of these or some of these tools require that. The account modifier is used to change one GL account code to another or to combine two existing ones together. This ensures that all transaction history follows into the new account. If history exists in both accounts, it is merged into the new one. You have the options to import a list, if there are a lot of changes, or to change a range or individual accounts. For any of these processes, follow the steps. Follow these steps. All, first, all users need to be logged out of GP. Um, so let's first navigate to the PSTL right here. The account modifier slash combiner is under financial tools. Click that and then click next. So as I mentioned before, we have three ways to do this. Arrange, accounts, or import. When we use arrange, uh, we basically want to change an entire business unit or move all accounts with the same main segment to another main segment. Um, so you basically have to enter your current value here and your new value here based on one of your segment values. These division account department are different segments of the chart of account. If you were going to change that value, let, you can change it here. Um, then you select the starting range of account numbers and the ending range of account numbers up here. Once you are done, you click Convert. If we choose just account, pretty basic, we can just choose an account number here and then choose where it should be converted to there. And you can only do one at a time. Um, and if the new account already exists, it'll simply merge the two together. Uh, so once you have chosen, chosen your accounts, you simply click Convert. Lastly, you have importing a list. Uh, this looks similar to the individual account, except uh, you will need to create a tab delimited file that in which the first column is the uh, old account and the second column is the new account. No headers are needed, so you should just have a list of all your current accounts on the left, on the first column, and then your second column should be what they should be converted to or merged with. Uh, once you have that list, you click uh, Validate, and then you choose the file that you created, and it will generate a report if, if there are changes that need to be made. And this is called an exception report. Um, but once you have validated it, you click Convert, and it will run the process. Now, no matter what you do, after this process is run, you will go into financial and under utilities and financial you find the reconcile. Be sure to reconcile the years that were included in the account combining or modifying. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.